Hello everyone, I'm here with the latest WSCP bracelet winner. It's Jao Vieira. He's just won the $5,000 Six Max event for over $750,000. Firstly, congrats, mate. Did I say your name right? You did. You oh, did. Good job. Perfect. It was pretty difficult. <laughs> it, was, it was a good try. <laughs> so you've had 30 WSOP caches so far. You've made two final tables, this being your second one, but it's your first bracelet. Can you sort of explain how that really feels to kind of take down your first bracelet? It feels good. I, the, the, the emotions haven't settled in yet because yeah. I was trying to block them out, trying to be as emotional stable as possible mm -hmm. because I had to compete. Uh, but it, it's a big burden. It's a big backpack out of my back. Yeah, uh, because it's the Vegas has been going quite bad in terms of results for me the last four years, even though I have 30 caches. Mm -hmm. And compared to what I've done online, compared to what I've what I've worked, the, the amount of, of, of hours I've put into this game, I always felt that uh, things were going um, under under mm -hmm. expectation uh, for what I've from what I've worked. So this is actually pretty nice. It's pretty nice to actually have the first the first one uh, off your back. And, and so let's talk a little bit about, sorry, your online presence. And you've played a lot of tournaments online. I've heard that you've made over 4,000 final tables. Almost 4,000, yeah. Wow, that's incredible. So you're no stranger to kind of making a final table setting and playing out these big events. Can you explain a little bit sort of what the difference is between playing online and playing these events to actually playing them in person? Do you get more nervous? Is there, is there different kind of preparations that you have to do? It's a different kind of preparation. It's a different kind of skill set. but. A at the same time, if you're a po good poker player, you're a good poker player anywhere. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what game, which game you're playing. It doesn't matter which which format you're playing. It doesn't matter if you're playing online or live or in the basement. It doesn't matter. So I try to prepare prepare myself live just with the same hard work and sheer dedication that I do online. Absolutely. It helps with the technical aspects, but then live you have to 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 control your emotions a bit more. You have to be a bit more composed. Mm -hmm. It's the, there's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of different elements that you can add to your game, yep. meaning the the life tells, the life presence, and the, the mood of it, each one that you can actually see. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's something that I've been working a lot for for the past few years. I've been playing live for quite yeah. a, quite some time, so and I I wouldn't consider myself an online pro or a live pro. Okay. I've, uh, just a poker pro, right? A poker pro, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think I'm comfortable anywhere. Yeah. One of the things you talked about, you said uh, basically there's like other variables in the live arena that you kind of have to take into consideration. And obviously one of these on this final table is how loud this final table was. There was absolutely loads of noise throughout the entire room. Do you kind of block that out, that kind of noise, or do you use that noise to kind of work into the game and get yourself going a bit more? I, I blocked it out pretty much. I just try to focus on the process, what I have to do, what I have to think, what I have to play. So that actually helps. And, and I've been I've been in way louder situations yep. when I was younger. I played professional basketball for seven oh, years. Oh, really? Cool. And, and I remember one day we played the Porto, which is a pretty big team in soccer and basketball as well. And they had like 4,000 uh, wow. uh, um, audience supporters. Yeah, yeah. yeah, most of them, the, the, the organized supporters on a, on a closed environment for playing okay. basketball with the... It's, yeah. It was it was scary. It yeah. wasn't loud. Yeah, it was yeah. scary. So okay. since that moment, this these moments are are, are, are a bit easier. And yeah. at the time, I was like 18, skinny little 5'10", <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. or 177 in our yeah, in our. the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was scary. This is just I'm I'm ready. I think I've done my work. I've I cut no corners. I put I put the hours. I put the dedication. I've I've humbled work for. Yeah. For seven sure. eight years so I, I was confident because i know i did my part i did my preparation. fantastic and i know that like tomorrow is the last day to play the main event i assume you're going to be firing that i will are you going to get a good day's rest today you're going to go out and celebrate with your rail what's kind of the plans this evening uh i don't know i'm a kind of easy going guy but of course we're going to celebrate somehow uh to thank all their all their support which is uh, amazing poker it brought me a lot of good friends a lot of yeah good people that I've met in this game and I want to be with them now and, and thank them for, for being in my corner uh, during the final table in these previous years as well. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep in mind that tomorrow I have a, I have a good, uh, important day, yes. the, the tournament of the, of the year and I want to be just as prepared and just as ready as this one. So it for will sure. not get to me. I'll, I'll celebrate when I get home yeah. in the summer. Yeah. Well, I'm also uh, playing the main event tomorrow, so hopefully I don't see you at my table. Hopefully uh, I <laughs> nice see you at the final table and then I'll be happy, but uh, not tomorrow. <laughs> but well done again today, mate. Congratulations. Best of luck in the main Thank event. You. Wish you all the best. Good luck tomorrow for yourself. Thank you well. very much. Thanks for having me. I'm Oliver Biles for PokerNews.com.